that's right. Sean did all my magic tricks. <laughs> magic trick. I don't have I don't have any magic tricks. I can I can dislocate my thumb. Ooh. Ooh. Thank you, that's my time. Alright guys. Um, no, no, no. Uh, you're not gonna say anything. I uh, I like Dan, I'm also from upstate New York. Woo! Yeah, thank you. I really kind of made you cheer for that. <laughs> I would not wait, I would not move on until people cheered. Uh, but yeah, I'm from upstate New York. Uh, and upstate New York is great because there's a lot of Italian people and every uh, business has an Italian name on it, so everything sounds like a restaurant. <laughs> it's great. It's very confusing and very disappointing. Uh, especially around lunchtime. You walk up to a place and you're like, oh, Pomodoros! Oh my god, what's on the menu here? Tigers Parmesan. Okay, all right. Look, that's Sicilian. Okay. What do we got over here? We got Crackalicis. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Funeral procession a la mode. Okay. All right, is that ice cream? It's a dessert. Uh, but yeah, it's sad. It sucks. Uh, <laughs> I am one of those Italian people who didn't have a business, uh, but I did have a dad. Um, he used to like to give me a lot of advice. He was a wise man. Uh, case in point, one time we were sitting watching the news together, which is pretty indicative of how my life was going at that point. <laughs> that was my Saturday night, was sitting and watching the news with daddy. Um, but we were watching the news and there was like a pirate hostage crisis. Uh, I don't know if you remember this, it was like Somali pirates like taking some uh, uh, people are nodding yes, they taking a married couple hostage. Uh, and uh, it was a tense situation. My dad looks at me and he goes, you see that, John? That is why you should always make sure you're armed when you're on your boat. <laughs> I have never received advice that is less applicable to my life. <laughs> then always make sure you're armed when you're on your boat. He could say almost anything else in the world to me. John, always make sure to breathe properly when you're in labor. <laughs> Just as realistically useful. John, Always make sure to pack enough candy when you're on your unicorn. That's I could have used that just as many times. I don't know what boats he thought I owned. I, mean, I lived with him at the time. He owned the property. I don't know if he thought I had a wharf hidden under my bed. I don't own anything worth arming myself to defend. Unless, unless pirates are collecting comic books now. In which case, then yes, you will you have to pry this copy of Ultimate Spider-Man number one out of my cold dead hands. I am not giving that up. It's not a joke. Don't laugh. Uh, I, uh, yeah, though, I, um, you know, he, he gave me some wisdom, uh, and now I'm a, a man in the world. I live in a big city, like all of you, um, and surrounded by people making their own something. Everybody's making their own something now. A lot of people are making, which is fine. We can make our own things. It's fun. It's fun activities, but some people take it too far. Case in point, I have a friend who started making his own cheese. That's fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's absolutely disgusting. Homemade cheese! If I brought some homemade cheese into the show, here's some free homemade cheese, everybody! It's a collection of milk curds and molds I mixed together in my kitchen at 2 in the morning in my underwear. It's cheddar, I guess. I, I don't know how to flavor cheese. Here's some homemade saltines. The cardboard with sugar, because I didn't even have salt. It's even if he, like, it's, it's not like he's qualified to be making anything. He's not a chef, he's just some guy making cheese in his house. It's like somebody your parents tell you to stay away from when you're little. It's like, honey, don't go near the cheese man's house. I don't, I don't want to, Mom, it smells horrible. I'm not, I don't want to go anywhere near that guy. Even if he was a chef, I wouldn't trust him to make just any food because it's, like, sort of in his field. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust my doctor. He's like, John, I'm making my own medicine. <laughs> it's great. Here, here's some homemade Valiums. I made them out of whiskey and children's Motrin. <laughs> Take two and call me if you can. <laughs> Nobody's woken up yet. Um, homemade Valiums. I feel like that would be more popular if I had free homemade Valiums. Um, maybe not. You shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, I... Uh, don't like that, <laughs> and I, 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 there's a lot of things I don't like, actually. I don't like sports very much. I'm not a sports fan. I don't go to a lot of sports games. I feel like all you have to do is hear me say sports games, and you know I'm not much of a sports fan. <laughs> I used to go to some, like, Army football games and stuff, because I grew up near West Point, which is the Army College, so I would go occasionally, support the troops, um, and I, 
I went there and I, I mentioned this to a friend of mine, and I was like, oh, I used to go to the Army games, and they were like, oh, Army, screw Army, I'm a Navy fan, I like Navy. And I was like, I don't care. Uh, no dog in this fight. And, and look, now I guess maybe this is like a famous rivalry, and I, I wasn't aware of it, that, you know, egg on my face, right? Uh, I don't know about you guys, I'm not really, not really happy with my branches of the military having a fucking rivalry. <laughs> I don't want them to hate each other for any reason whatsoever. I don't want there to be any friction. I want them to work cohesively as a unit. I don't want to be getting invaded by Russia tomorrow, probably. And uh, the Army's like, Navy, you gotta send some ships. We need sea support. And then the Navy's like, oh, you should have thought about that before that football game. You guys really rubbed that one on our faces. Real sore winners about that Army. Oh, they got the president. They're getting away. Like, oh, well, you know, he why don't you swim after him, Army, huh? You know, you know how embarrassing that was for the Navy to lose a swim meet? And the Army's just like, oh, screw you, Navy, we'll call Air Force for help. Oh, there's Air Force now! They're skywriting Army sucks. I mean, you know what? Um, but I do, the only sort of sport I like is, is professional wrestling. Woo! Yeah, that's right. My girlfriend claps. Uh, thank you. Nice his wife claps. That was very nice. We covered all our bases. Um, I like wrestling. What can you do? What can you say? I, get, I hear it all, John, it's fake. It's fake. You hear it all the time, it's fake. I fucking know it's fake. I know, you know how I know? Because the rules are stupid. <laughs> the rules are you can never have a sanctioned sport with these stupid rules. You could never have like a baseball game where it's like, oh, the Yankees and the Red Sox are having a heck of a game here. And uh, batters up the foot. Wait, what's going on? What the heck? What the heck are the Mets doing out here? <laughs> but they're coming in out of the stands. They're attacking the Red Sox. And now the Yankees are getting involved. It's a huge brawl. The Empires, the Empires are trying to get a, a hold of everything. And they're, they're saying, yes, we're going to have a three-way game. We're going to switch this to a three-way game. They're going to erect the steel dome. And the first team to escape gets an immediate world championship series. Best of seven games. Guys, thank you so much.